people are more important than money. But if you see these 10 signs, you need to end your relationship, even if it's a family or a close friend. First, avoid people who don't spend money. There are people who say that the first thing they say when they meet someone is that they don't have money. If they're really poor, that's understandable. However, they usually do what they want to do and live a life of enjoying everything, but only when they meet you they say they have no money. End the relationship with these people quickly. In a relationship, you have to be good to each other so that the relationship can last for a long time. However, since they are trying to use me, a good relationship can never be achieved. Second, avoid people who often quarrel and take sides. If you look around, there are people who never stop quarreling. The characteristic of these people is that they don't just go over things that don't have to quarrel. Also, after a quarrel with another person, they force themselves to take their side, causing trouble for others. The number of people we can meet in life is extremely limited. Even though each person is precious, if you meet a friend who often quarrels and takes sides like this, your entire relationship will be ruined. A quarrel is never an act of benefit to humans. A wise person never quarrels with others emotionally. If you look at people who often quarrel, they cannot control their emotions and are always busy arguing with others. These people rarely admit their mistakes and have very arrogant personalities. A person who thinks he is right and asks to take his side is an arrogant person who overestimates himself. Forcing one's opinion on others is not the right person. They just insist on having their own way. If you are a person who often quarrels, you need to look at yourself. Third, avoid people who take other people's worries lightly. In this world, heavy worries and light worries do not exist separately. The weight of life is relative so each person feels the weight of life differently. Despite this fact, there is no need to continue to share worries or joy with friends who always consider their own worries important but others' worries lightly. A person who respects only himself without respecting others is worse than none. No matter what kind of person the other person is, you can open your heart only when you respect that person as an inherent personality. The easiest way to respect others is to express your feelings to them. Saying thank you with your heart when you are grateful is not a thank you greeting. Saying thank you when you're grateful and sorry when you're sorry is the basis of a proper relationship. They're not free enough to read into your mind. Stay away from people who don't express gratitude, and express gratitude to others. Be glad when you see someone happy, comfort them when you see someone sad. A person who enjoys the suffering of others is someone who has no respect for others. Taking pleasure in the immoral behavior of others is worse and more insidious than immoral behavior. You must not be glad of the suffering and misfortune of others. Fourth, avoid anyone who enforces your religious or political beliefs. All people cannot be the same. In the end, the relationship between people is to acknowledge each other's differences and gain the value of the relationship among others. Therefore, no matter how good it is for you, you should not force it on others, but among them, 
you should never force your religion or political beliefs. It is very tiring to keep meeting such a person, and in reality, conflicts arise due to strong beliefs in human relationships. Do not argue pointlessly with such a person. Under no circumstance, wise people do not enter into an argument that tramples on the other person's pride. No matter what topic it is, when an argument starts, each other insists on their point of view. In fact, these arguments are meaningless and unnecessary. What is the use of thoroughly winning the other person in an argument? It is only a temporary victory, but the pleasure of that victory never lasts long. Not only this, but the biggest problem is that I got it at the cost of trampling on the other person's pride. Because of the victory gained by losing other people's faces, you may incur resentment from the opponent and one day suffer a great disaster. Fifth, if you feel distressed when you meet a friend, avoid that friend. When you meet a friend, it's fun at first, but the more you meet, the more fun it gets, and if you think that it doesn't suit you, you can take it as a signal that you need to sort out your relationship. Because as time passed, that friend has changed and you must have changed a lot too. In the past, there were many similarities with that friend, and the friends we met were similar, but as time passed, the people we met changed and we lived different lives. That's why people who were fun to meet in the past feel like they don't fit in as they get older. As much as you are annoying and hard, it is very likely that the friend will also be bothered and hard to meet you. Because relationships are two-way, not one-way. Therefore, for him and you, it is good to think about gradually distancing yourself from contact with each other little by little. Sixth. Avoid those who continue to complain about themselves. There are times when everyone complains and wants to be comforted. However, these complaints should be appropriate to the situation, but a complaint that does not fit the situation is a person who has no consideration for others. What other people complain to you about every time is to have no consideration for you and think of you as an emotional dumpster. If you keep accepting the other person's bad feelings, you become an emotional trash can. Just don't accept it, so seriously consider resetting your relationship with the person. Stay away from friends who only throw away their sad feelings like this, and be close to friends who listen to you. Nature gave us two ears and two eyes, and the tongue allowed only one. This means that you should listen and see more than speak. Remember that a good speaker is not a logical speaker, but a good listener. Sadness is not good to share. Sadness stains everyone around you with negative emotions. Don't blame anyone who doesn't console your sadness. Never expect too much from others or from the world. Seventh. Avoid people who take promises lightly or break them easily. It is possible to break an appointment once or twice due to unavoidable circumstances. However, even if there are circumstances, it is the duty to be sorry and it should not be repeated. You should end your relationship as soon as possible with people who not only break their promises but also forget that they made promises and habitually break them. In a relationship that should be created by respecting each other, there is no need to forcefully maintain a relationship with someone who does not respect you. 
Never forget that you are a person who has the right to be respected. Eighth, avoid people who keep talking about the same worries. Talking about your worries is often just a temporary comfort rather than a desire to get advice from the other person. Wanting to be comforted by others is a natural human nature and cannot be seen as a bad act. However, there is a person who always talks about the same worries every time he meets you. Also, there are people who expect you to hear the answer they have already decided when you try to give them advice. Listening to other people's worries and telling only good things unconditionally can be good temporarily, but in the end, nothing will help that person and your life. So, if you are a true best friend, give sincere advice. Also, if you have a friend who kindly tells you about your flaws, be sure to be close to that person. Sweet food is bad for the body and bitter food is good for the body. The same is true of words. Everyone has flaws. A person who praises your every word and action without pointing out your flaws does not help you improve. You should make friends who kindly tell you about your flaws so that you don't go the wrong way. Ninth, Avoid people who boast excessively. There are people who look down on others as if they are showing off their superiority, and when they meet, they only boast about themselves. If you talk about boasting with your own mouth, you just become an arrogant person. The most useless boast among boasts is to boast of the past where one has excelled. People become miserable when they have nothing to say but old stories. The wisdom to live a happy and worthwhile life is to enjoy what you have now. We have never seen a person who boasts too much about his past, who is happy in his present life, and who envisions a happy future. People who know nothing or know a lot don't say anything, but people who know a little always say loudly and a lot. Keep yourself humble. Water originally does not stay at the top of the mountain, but flows through the valley. In this way, true virtue never resides with those who try to show off their superiority, but only with those who try to be humble and low. 10th. Avoid people who only contact you when you need them. It's not a person you've been in contact with often, but there is someone who has been in contact touch in a long time and does not ask how you are doing and only talks about his request. A person who does not contact you normally, but only contacts you when you need him, is not a friend. It is good to end the relationship immediately with such a person. Stop being used by them and end the relationship, 